Yakuza developer Ryuga Gotoku Studios' recent RGG Annual Summit presented a triptych of Yakuza-oriented title announcements. Historical samurai spin-off Like a Dragon Ishin is set to make its Western debut come the remake's release in February 2023. Elsewhere, Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name focuses on Yakuza series mainstay Kazuma Kiru after the events of Yakuza 6 The Song of Life. Whilst focus on the RGG Summit centered mostly on Like a Dragon Ishin, the announcement of the next title in the long-running Yakuza series, Like a Dragon 8, has certainly whet the most appetites. Before we continue, it's worth pointing out that the moniker Like a Dragon, as Yakuza has always been known within its native Japan, has replaced the old Yakuza branding. Sega's reasoning is, Like a Dragon, more closely aligns with Western iterations of the series with its Japanese counterpart and will be how the series is known worldwide going forward. Like a Dragon 8 will be a continuation of 2020 reboot Yakuza Like a Dragon, a title Ryo Gagutoku Studio bravely hit the reset button for after seven mainline entries. It deviated superbly from previous Yakuza titles, opening the door for series newcomers whilst mostly appeasing longtime fanatics. Combat-wise, Like a Dragon eschews the button-bashing beat-em-up action from its predecessors for turn-based JRPG-style brawling, requiring players to control a party of characters. The series' former lone wolf narrative is also transformed into gangland fable, with Like a Dragon's JRPG flavor featuring a new series protagonist in the form of the extremely likable Ichiban Kasuga 2, himself an orphan raised in nefarious bathhouses, now low-level Yakuza, Hallmarks of the series, its humorous quirks, its convoluted subplots, and joyously time-wasting side content are all present and correct. Most exciting of Like a Dragon 8's recent reveal trailer is the prominence of Yakuza poster child Kiru-san, strolling alongside new boy Ichiban Kasuga, both men backlit in Kamurocho Neon. Kazuma Kiru does appear in Yakuza Like a Dragon, of course, but he's relegated to fresh protagonist Kasuga's poundmate. He's someone to be called into battle when requested. His appearance feels more like a passing of the torch from old to new rather than a hefty presence throughout the game. The sight of the two series mainstays idling side by side is a very welcoming one, and with it, the promise of dual controllable protagonists in Like a Dragon 8. Yakuza games have featured multiple player characters before, of course. Yakuza 0's Kiru and Majima, for instance, or Yakuza 4 with four playable protagonists. But dual wielding two major characters in a series revamped as gangland soap opera with in-depth JRPG party system, then we're looking at the very real chance of being able to create and maintain a party for both characters. After Kiru faking his own death and absconding out of sight at the end of Yakuza 6, his whereabouts and well-being have been cause for concern for many a Yakuza player. So, whilst Kiru did re-emerge in Yakuza Like a Dragon, and we will indeed have the gaps filled in between Yakuza 6 The Song of Life and Like a Dragon 8 in next year's Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name spin-off, it's just great to see Kiru in high spirits and sharing the limelight once again. It's a dead cert that turn-based combat will return in Like a Dragon 8 too. Yakuza Like a Dragon's turn-based brawling is not without its detractors, though. Admittedly, the encounters did rely too heavily on individual party members' special moves, rather than harnessing the combined strengths of the whole team to dish out extreme damage. The ability for a character to grapple an opponent whilst another doles out a drumming at the command of the player is one obvious improvement. For a character knocking an opponent to the ground in close enough proximity for another in the party to kick them whilst they're down is the closest we've come to combining party members in the same move. But these are minor gripes our GG studio will surely be able to refine. I, for one, love the turn-based battling system in Yakuza Like a Dragon. Its character movement preserves some of the vibrant feel when fighting in previous Yakuza titles. Whilst QTE sections and flamboyant special ability animations provide bite-sized sugar rushes that keep battles feeling fresh and invigorating, Like a Dragon's flashiness made grinding through high-risk areas to level up character XP feel consistently enjoyable and less like a chore. 
the game's pound mate system, whereby Ichiban can call in reinforcements akin to summons like other JRPGs presented, elaborate, and oftentimes absurd intro cutscenes for called-in characters too, which for a series famed for balancing dramatics with humor feels extremely well done. Time to call a friend! Ha! I summon you! Most of all, the turn-based battle system is simple enough on the surface. It's an easy format for series newcomers or turn-based combat novices to pick up without too much trouble. Owing to the game's character job system, the battling has unrelenting depth, which is ideal for those more seasoned JRPG players. Yakuza Like a Dragon's choice of setting is top-notch too. Returning is the fictional Kamurocho Red Light District of Tokyo and Sodenboro District of Osaka, but the new Izizaki Jinko District of Yokohama, modeled after real-life Izizakicho, is frequently spellbinding. Each of the district's distinct areas have their own personality and charm, which is something perhaps prior Yakuza titles failed to fully exploit. As dense as Kamarocho is, Like a Dragon's Isizaki Ijinko ramps up the detail despite being a larger surface area. It's a playground for exploration, practically brimming with entertaining side quests and distractions, and to me at least, it feels the closest thing to visiting Japan outside of, you know, actually going there. I'm salivating at the prospect of exploring Yokohama once again in Like a Dragon 8, excited at exploring the same streets facelifted by current-gen hardware. As a series, Yakuza has always scrutinized the negative aspects of organized crime. Its corruption, betrayal, suffering, and collateral damage are all burdens weighing heavy on the game's central characters. Ichiban Kasuga, like Kazuma Kiro before him, is a man supplanted into this world. He's born into it, nurtured by it, but instead of succumbing completely to it, he's molded by a desire to live a life of peace and tranquility. Kasuga and Kiru are antitheses to the brutal life of Yakuza, even if you don't fancy yourself as a lover of crime-based fiction or JRPGs, Yakuza's masterful blend of drama and hijinks make it an ideal series for almost anyone. Its worlds are enthralling and its characters empathetic. Each game is a memorable experience, and it's fantastic we Yakuza fanatics get to eat so well over the next couple of years. Like a Dragon 8 is looking like it'll be a multi-platform release come 2024, and I for one can't wait. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.